Next word, Lee. Come up with a word. Oh, Lee okay. Wants to bring the hammer. I'm fucking dropping the hammer. Uh, I'm bringing in the R word, and I'm saying this out of context just so people know what I'm saying. I am using. I am referring to the word retard. What are your thoughts? Is this offensive? Should it not be? I think with the way that we've adapted in its usage is that it's it's almost like crazy where it's it used to be an umbrella that would trickle down into different different things and I think that now we've we've made it so generic towards things that it's no longer to identify what it used to be. No no one ever goes and be, is like this person is R uh due to them having a mental disability because that's how it used to initiate right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i don't think anyone even uses that anymore it's more like this person has this this is their spectrum etc yep. i don't think we've ever nowadays called anyone that because we know that's an offensive term when used in that context yeah like, i think now people use it freely even streamers say that word when it's like oh they just updated this i think that's i think okay here's the thing again yeah. because we're not using it too directly towards someone i i I'd like to think that you could say it because I'm going to say it because I think it's a lot easier than like being around the bush and not saying it. But I think, and I think this is going to apply to a lot of the words that we talk about from this point on is it's offensive when it's used towards the community that it, that it's related to. So in the initial sense of what the word means, um, if it's used to describe someone that's, that's part of that community, then it is in fact like you like, don't do it. Like you shouldn't do it. But, um, Again, Lucas, you made a great point where people are like, yo, this is retarded. Like, what the fuck happened here? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's different when it's used as an insult than it is to describe, I guess, how they how someone may perceive it. And again, like something I but learned they... when, when I was researching this was that like this exact word can be used completely out of I'm just gonna Google it because I don't have it up on my screen. But the word retard can literally be used to say delay or hold back in terms of progress development or accomplishment and the sentence they said is our progress was retarded by unseen difficulties and it's like it's weird because like why would you pick that word is that, is of- that french well yeah let, if i could if i could we could take a step back and i just want to give a little bit of origin from it is yeah the word retard or retard french. comes yeah, from like french and it means late yes yeah. now back in 19 in the, in the 60s what now is mental disabilities and whatnot was medically referred to as mental retardation, insinuating that it was you slow, <laughs> mentally it was slow, slowly yeah. developed, late, late yeah. minded. Like yeah. that's what it was. And it wasn't until 2010 that they changed it to um, intellectual disabilities. So, a bunch of things that I want to touch on there. But what you said, what you said first, Matt, that I, I just want to question, maybe you can clarify, is you said, it's not okay to call someone of that community the R word, but it's okay to use it outside of the community. Why? Why is it? Why is it not okay to call someone of? Sorry, that community? Um, uh, it's not that it's okay, uh, or or that it's okay to use it outside. You really shouldn't. You know, there's other words that you could use, but the piece is that when it's when it's used, I feel like when it's when you're calling someone that's part of that community that term is that you're you're doing it in in a way to insult uh and again this relates to a lot of the words that we've talked about today is that um they can be used in a way to insult or they could be used in a way that's not insulting directly someone or 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 something so what what if i was using it to insult someone who's not of the community so it's someone who's not in the community and i am using it to insult them is it is it no is it better is it still no, bad is I think, it still not yeah, okay? that's, yeah that's a good point i think it's still yeah i think there's other ways you could you could try to say what you're trying to say like to me, to me, like, if you're, if you're, 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 you're retarded you're gonna... like i don't think that that really should ever be said um to me, so you think word. this is this is one that sorry real quick lucas do you think yeah. it is warranted that it should be on the no use list yeah yeah i think so really which is I'll, funny I'll, because there's th- there's still times where I'm like playing some or like exactly that like Lucas in the in the example he had said before, where I'm playing a game I'm like this is like this is retarded and it's like when I look back and think I'm like what am I trying to say about this like that I, that's the piece I have to understand it's like what is it that I that I challenge about this that I have to use that word. Uh, to me, if, if you're trying to use any word, 
if you're trying to use any word in an offensive like connotation, then Rebound. it's gonna come off either way. Like you can use that word, you can use something that's not offensive at all. Yeah. You can just be like, dude, you're being a real idiot. Like if, if you're meaning it to cause someone, you know, like an insult or something like that, it's wrong. Just because don't insult it, people. It, that's that's what we're yeah. trying to say. Yeah, yeah, just don't insult people. Well, that's literally podcast. what it is, though. You, you shouldn't be insulting people. You should be giving constructive criticism on everything. But, I mean, obviously, emotions and stuff take over. I think that R word is... I try not to say it. Um, the reason why I try not to say it against anything, specifically, is because I personally find better words to, I don't know, diss stuff. Like, I, I find words that I find... In my if I'm, like in my opinion, humorous to use, where like that, I'm like, nah, I got I get nothing out of it. I used to, like when I was younger, and I didn't know better. And so to me, it's like it's not I'm not holding it back because of the where it came from. It's because I don't know, like I don't really have a use for that word. Hmm. Okay, so um, a couple of things I would challenge there. Uh, first thing, what what I do respect about people not wanting to use the word is I respect that you might think it's okay to insult people, but you don't want to insult people at the expense of another person's group who's not involved. I respect that. Yeah. Like if I'm going to tangle with you, I'm going to tangle with you and you alone. I'm not bringing anyone else into it at no one else's expense. I, yeah. I, I like that. Um, the reasons why I think like, I, I, I wouldn't use it. I would not call someone of, I would not use that word against someone of the community. Not because the reason why I think it's bad is because I wouldn't bring up a touchy subject to anyone of any community. For example, someone who's gone through any traumatic experience in their life, I'm likely not going to talk about that type of experience in front of them because I don't know how they deal with it. I don't know if yeah. they're still dealing with it. I don't know how it's going to affect them. Exactly. So in the specific case, I would not uh, use that word around those uh, people because I, I know it can be difficult for them. And I do that out of respect and I, I do that out of, uh, of careness. Um, but outside of that, I think people should at least put in the work to figure out what that person's trying to say instead of immediately getting offended by it yeah now yeah. uh, uh there, there's something else lucas said that i want to challenge i forget what it is but I, I see here that scott hall made a great point yeah but i i, I, I kind of want to argue it he says here how do you feel if matt became synonymous with stupid or unsuccessful okay so here's the thing if we look up the definition of okay Let's take it. Let's take it back one step. Let's take it back one step. So, Tell me the definition. I'll look it up. It, it, no, well, first, if you it, if you look at the original term, medical term of mental retardation, and they changed it to intellectual disability. Maybe it's just me. You guys can argue this. You can tell me if I'm wrong. But does intellectual disability not sound a little worse? Take away take away the stigma that retard has. But mental retardation literally just means your mind develops slower than others. And I mean, you're late minded, but saying intellectual disability means you're not has able to this, do it. Means you're not able to do it. You are at a disadvantage. You are lower than the standard person. Like it, it comes with a negative. Like it's it's a built disability is a negative. I, I don't see it that way. I I, I feel like uh, to me, you, if if you were to tell me that I was at a disadvantage, it, it almost gives me and I, I guess this is the competitive person in me. It's like I'm at a disadvantage. I want to push further where it's like, I may have a disadvantage, but I'm still lapping people who have zero disadvantage with me. And I think a lot of people benefit from that. Uh, I'm not saying people benefit from that, but, but a lot of people can benefit from the fact of, hey, if you're labeling me as a disadvantage and I still have the capabilities to surpass that, then to me, like that's a bigger accomplishment than ever. Sure, I, sure. But I'm I, just saying is if, if from the start, you're stamped with this label, yeah. uh, you're, you're stamped with one label saying, here's a condition that has slowed your brain development or you get stamped on another one that says uh hey you've got a shitty brain uh, sorry that's paraphrasing that's not fair that's not fair of me to say that uh but you are uh you have a disabled brain uh, kudos to the people who can find the motivation to get past that but that's way easier said than done a lot of people are gonna look at that and be like wow i was dealt a hand that everyone's already saying is gonna lose like yeah why was, uh, to me i've had that though like when i was uh i had one time openly here i was morbidly obese like i was like on the cusp of like liver failure and stuff and i was like at that point where you would say i was at a disadvantage like my my genetics sucked i had liver problems i had uh what, what was it um um I'm trying, I'm trying to think of there's a, a thing for anyway regardless like i was at a disadvantage 
for all you could say. And like, I surpassed that. And like, I lost weight where other people who were um, skinnier than I ever was were, were now bigger than I ever but that, was. But that was entirely within your control. You got to that disadvantage by your own choices and yes. you got past it by your own choices. Whereas having an intellectual disability or mental retardation, you didn't ask for any of that. You can't really okay. do anything about it. Like you just kind of have to figure it out. But but, Which, but they can still get in it. Like they can still get a head up. Like they can still. Per, so like, that's why tools in place to, to support right. that. Yeah. That's why I think intellectual disability sounds like more of an insult because there are some people with these conditions. I don't know what we want to call them anymore. With these conditions, who can do some phenomenal stuff like yes. beyond the average person? Like, uh, there's one specific one I forget when it was, and I forget the guy, but I'm pretty sure it was it, the story goes something along the lines of he took a helicopter ride around New York City or maybe Manhattan Island, and it was like a 30 minute ride. And he came down and he drew the city. Oh, for, for photograph of memory because but, of a, a certain a certain type of spectrum of autism, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. like, that's that doesn't sound like an intellectual disability. That almost sounds like a, uh, he's got an advantage. On well, 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 like, well, that's again. amazing. Well, the thing that's is where his, his, his disability, his disability could be social skills where to us, we're like, fuck all that. If you can do a helicopter ride and, and draw the entire thing, you're at an advantage, but he will still have the disadvantage of never being able to be non-social, and, uh, socially awkward. Sure, and I think sure. that's and that's all interpretive of society and what society defines as "quote unquote" normal is. Yeah, you know, yeah. This is this is what you have to meet. You know, these are the criteria you have to meet where you're not classified as, you know, different. Let's say, you know, I know that term is is thrown around a lot too, where it's like, oh, this person's different. Um, yeah. So, so oh, yeah. sorry the the point i wanted to make to to scott hall's comment was and, and i know I'm, I'm gonna get shit on for this and i know it's gonna sound really harsh but i'm looking at this completely objectively completely objectively if you look up the definition of stupidity or, or sorry just stupid stupid is uh what is it the lack of intelligence ready definition of stupid having or showing a great lack of intelligence or common sense sure now, mental retardation. Give me the definition of that, Lucas. Okay. This guy's Webster all of a sudden. <laughs> of mental... Um, is to present in about 2 or 3% uh, percent of population. It can be defined as cognitive ability that is marked below average level and a decreased ability to adapt to one's environment. That's good. Uh, also, another a, a key or, or common another factor... definition? Just tell me like, so I can Google it ahead of time. Or... Um, yeah, right. Uh, um, <laughs> no, now, um, what I was going to say is a common um, factor in people with intellectual disabilities is that they score significantly lower on iq tests as well typically between 55 to the average person scores 100 uh they score somewhere between 55 to 70 sometimes even lower so i'm not objectively speaking with no stigma to the word i think it might be fair to say that yes people with intellectual disabilities are i don't like saying because it sounds bad but maybe they are stupid but the reason we don't say that to them or, or or we shit on them for that is because they have a reason for it they have a condition and you can't you can't, can't help that. it you well, can't control it just yeah, as like, just as someone looking someone looking who's at definition comparatively to this is what it's defined as this person meets the criteria of this definition therefore exactly uh, exactly from an objective that's what i'm trying to say. yeah yeah that's just as just so I, looking I would objectively 100 yeah i would uh, say someone someone with uh, intellectual disabilities is stupid because of their intellectual disabilities just and as the someone definition who, of what stupid is and what the yeah correct I can understand just that ju but just as someone who is uh paralyzed from the shoulders down is slow well we're not gonna go just go and say hey that guy's slow he sucks no he's slow because of this he has a condition that, that makes impacts him that, way. that yes that impacts that that's not of his choice and he can't do anything about it so if that's the case again at some point you got to call a spade a spade and you say, okay, maybe intellectually disabled people are stupid, but it's not their fault and it's okay. We can help them. We, I'm not going to treat them differently, but yeah. objectively speaking, that is the case. That, now, that, or, or some other one. Let me just quickly interject. I, I also find that like, it looks also, like if you take this out of context, it looks like Leash is shitting on people. So. <laughs> I'm just no, gonna let him finish not, I don't see it that way, but you're going to prolong this if you keep interrupting me now where it's like, 
some people have a disability in one thing, but they have an advantage on another thing. Sorry, go ahead. It's like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's not you're just you're just you just suck at everything. It's absolutely this give and take. Now, where I say because Lucas had mentioned before that we shouldn't be insulting people. It should always be constructive criticism. I don't believe that. I don't buy that at all. I think there are times in the world where you need to offend someone there are times for conflict if you think the world is all rainbows and butterflies you're in for a rude awakening and there are times where you're going to pick a fight with someone there are going to be times where you want to insult someone now in this specific case now let's say i use the r word to insult somebody where i think if, if i use it outside of someone from the community where they need to at least maybe i mean they don't owe me anything but it's worth figuring out what my intentions are. And what my intention is, it, it isn't I'm calling you the R word because I think you're dumb and I think they're dumb and I'm tying those together and saying, oh, you're idiot. Oh, they're idiots. You're one of them. That's not what I'm saying at all. In fact, the way I look at it is, again, they have a reason for their level of intellect. You so don't. what I would say is in this, in this situation, Lucas did something so crazy. There, there's a level of intellect for the average person. And I'm like, yo, Lucas, I am so surprised that your level of intellect is so low that I don't think this is by choice. I think you have a condition beyond your control that is saying you. That's the insult. The insult mm -hmm. is that I, I, I'm insulting you with a condition that is real, not by the right. people that suffer from the condition. I get if that. that makes sense. I see what you're saying. Just as, just as if, if Lucas couldn't find something that was right in front of him, I'd be like, yo, are you are fucking you blind? blind? Yes, yeah, exactly. I'm not shitting on blind people. I've got nothing against blind people. Yeah, but I'm I'm insulting him because he does not have a condition, but it's acting like he does. Right, he should be operating at a higher level. Yeah. What, what we're what we're taking from this though is that like you don't associate with this. Why are you like like it's it's like a general like kind of like I don't want to say joke or anything like that, but it's kind of like teasing. Like why are you? Why are you fucking this up? Like, like it's a comparison. It's like yeah. you don't, sure. you know, you haven't been diagnosed with this condition. Why are you acting or presenting features that uh, uh, make it seem like you are? And the example uh, that I think was easier to portray is the blind piece. It's like this was right here. Why couldn't you find this? Like you're not blind. You know what I mean? Yeah, I could. Yeah. I could definitely. That, that's a very interesting perspective of that. For sure. <laughs> it's like we had a a coworker who uh, his manager called her out him out, being like, "What are you deaf?" And he's like, "What?" Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Just shitty timing. Oh, shitty no, timing, no. but. Perfect.